Good morning. This is uh, Pre-Algebra and this is lesson 92. Today's lesson is not difficult, but you do have to do a little bit of thinking. And what I mean by that is you have to take the things that you have been taught in lower elementary and apply it today. For example, let us start first with some clue words. Grab a chalk. When you were in grade school, and your teachers wanted you to add two numbers. They would tell you that you were looking for a what? Well, if you say three plus four equals seven, I understand that. But the seven was called a what? It was called the sum, okay? Anytime you see the word sum, it means you're adding. What if you see the word product? Product means to what? It means to multiply. If you see the words less than, what does that mean? Less than means you're going to subtract. Now, of course, if you see greater than, it's going to mean to add, okay? If you see something that says twice or three times, anytime you see the word time, excuse me, the word times means to multiply. Now, I just put a few of these words up here. Uh, these are by no means an exhaustive list, but these words all tell us a mathematical process to use. One that we did put up, we definitely should, is the word is. Is always means what? Equals, that's where the equal mark goes to. We've been doing that all year in our equations. Now. With today, what we're going to do, instead of Mrs. Turner giving you an equation, I'm going to give you a story problem or a word problem. You need to come up with the equation and then solve it to give me whatever X is, okay? So let's look at a few that I put on the board. We're going to start with these. And uh, they're not difficult. You just have to look for the clue words, okay? You have to look for clue words. The sum... Ding, ding, that's a clue word. The sum of twice a number and 42 is 48. Well, the easiest thing to know right away is the is, right? We've been doing that for a long time. So we know that this side of the equation is gonna be is 48. That's pretty simple. Now let's go to this side of the equation. The sum of, okay, that means I'm going to add two things, correct? What two things am I going to add? I'm going to add twice a number. Well, twice a number is 2n and 42. There's my two things that I'm going to add. I knew I was looking for two numbers because it said the sum of, okay? What are the two things I'm adding? Well, I'm going to add twice a number and 42. Now, don't leave it like this. Your book is gonna ask you to tell them what's the number, what is n, okay? Well, we know that we have to subtract 42 from each side. So we're gonna get 2n equals six. Now, what do I do? I can't leave it as 2n equals six. I need to divide by two on both sides, so n equals three. There's never a reason to get one of these wrong. Go back to your equation. 2n plus 42 equals 48, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write my equation, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna substitute my n. So two times three plus 42 equals 48. Well, two times three is six. Does four, six plus 42 equal 48? Yes, it does. So I have 48 on both sides. That means that is equal. My problem is correct. There's never a reason to miss one of these. Write your equation, solve the equation, then go back and try your answer in your equation. And then you'll know if you got it right. Look at the next one. 27 less than, keyword is so far, less than. Okay, so I have 27 less than three times a number. Okay, three times, I'm gonna erase that 27 for a second. Three times a number is 
144. Well, let's write the is 144. Now let's go back and look at our problem. 27 less than. Now wait a minute. When you have a subtraction problem, when I'm saying you had six pieces of candy, you ate two of them, so you have two less than six now, the two comes after the six because you're subtracting, correct? That means that this, the 20, I'm sorry, yeah, the 27 is gonna come after whatever we're subtracting it from, okay? So we're gonna put minus 27, whatever it is we're gonna put in front of it, okay? So 27 less than, so I'm gonna take 27 away from something. What am I taking it away from? Three times a number. So we're gonna put three n, because three times a number. So 3n minus 27 equals 144. How do I solve that? Add 27 to each side. Now I have 3n, over here I'm gonna say seven plus four, then I have four plus two plus one, and now what am I gonna do? I'm going to divide, okay? And Three goes into 17, five times. Five times three is 15, that leaves me a two. So now I have three into 21 goes seven times, n equals 57. Sorry that the, those boards, the board is so crowded here. So look at the next one. Four more than 33 times a number equals negative 95. Let's look for the clue words. Four more than. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna be adding. What am I gonna add? I'm gonna add four to something. 33 times a number, and then I have the word equals. Well, that makes it pretty clear. That's where my equal mark is gonna go. Negative 95. Okay, so go back to the front of this. Four more than, so we're gonna add four to something. Now, it does say than, okay? So that means our four is gonna come after. What are we gonna put? 33 times a number, or? 33n. There's your equation, and you would now simply solve it, okay? Now, I want you to look in your book. Look at practice A. Practice A, it's on page 259. On your paper, I want you to write this equation. Let's look at it together. I'm not gonna put it on the board until you've written it on your paper, okay? The sum of three times a number and negative four is 32. What's the number? Okay, first, what are your clue words? Please don't mark them in your book. Okay, don't give next year's class the answer. Okay, so what do we have? We have the clue word sum. Sum tells us we're going to add. So we're gonna add the sum of, okay, so what are the things we're gonna add? Three times a number, which is what, guys? Three n, three times a number, plus, because we're finding the sum, and negative four is 32, okay? So the sum of three times a number and negative four is 32. Look at the next one. Four more than nine times a number is negative 77. What's your equation? Look for your clue words. Four more than nine times a number is negative 77. Okay, so we said it was four more than, so we're gonna put more than what? Well, nine times a number equals or is negative 77. I hope you got both of those equations correct today. You will have some of these on quizzes this week. You'll have some on your test coming up. Guys, you only have a couple of grading, only a, I think you only have, I think you have one, one regular test and your final. So left, you really need to make sure you're checking your work Get everything turned in. And those of you that have been missing work, you'll notice that it's all coming off of the online now. What you have to do in order to con in order to make up work is you have to contact me to get it so that you know what to do out of your book. 
okay? Or you'll need to pick up a packet if it's a quiz. So if you need makeup work, you need to see me because I will turn my grades in on time. There's no coming back off of it. And I really don't want you to be in summer school, all right? Have a good day, guys.